Hey guys, I'm Morgan and this is Boyish Figure. For today's episode, I'm going to be unboxing the second years to the Karasuna team to Haiku. So, um, let's start with you and then we'll get to Tanaka. So bam, bam, out my way. I'm so excited to unbox the Rolling Thunder himself. Oh, this is different. God, I thought he had no head. Um, this is different. There is no cardboard in this box for you. I think because he's probably even shorter than Hinata, that the sculpts didn't need cardboard. Um, this is weird. This is different. He's like in bubble wrap and not in the sealed plastic packaging. This is different, but okay. But his head's still in the same packaging. This might be a second print edition. That could probably be my thing. So I squeeze him on the face. I like his little pose, posing at that number four, baby. The Libra himself. And then we're gonna get his head, cause we don't want no disembodied volleyball players here. Come on now. God, he's super cute. Woo, that neck joint is tight. I don't know if that's gonna be coming out later. That might break, I'm kinda scared. Anyway, he is super cute. He's super small. Um, yeah, I think this might be a second print because of the bubble wrap instead of the nice clear plastic. Nothing wrong with that. Whatever. Um, for paint job, the only thing I see that kind of got a little sloppy was his lines on his collar to his volleyball uniform. But you know what? Whatever. No one's really going to be looking at that part that much. I think he's super cute. I love the smallness of him. Um, right there is the Banapresto. Right there's the Banapresto logo. There you go. I think he's super cute. I love his pose. Um, I'm probably gonna have to give this guy maybe a nine out of 10. I love his hair. His hair is very pointy. Yeah, nine out of 10. Nine out of 10. I love him. Um, oh, I never cut off Tanaka. So, one thing I noticed with a lot of people's Tanakas, and I'm kind of scared, I really hope my one doesn't have this, um, he kind of has like a nipple on the top of his head. So I really hope my Tanaka doesn't get him. Okay, so Tanaka doesn't have any cardboard either. That's really weird. Maybe they just stopped doing the really nice clear packaging with the first line because these guys are volume two where Hinata and Kageyama were volume one. So they probably stopped that. <laughs> Here's Tanaka. And his head. Yes, I didn't get the nipple. I'm so happy. Let's get his head loose. I really appreciate these really long neck joints because when they're smaller they have the tendency of breaking very easily and that's just really unfortunate because if you spend this much money you don't want it to break obviously um we're cutting open tonico right now i'm just doing it on my bed because there's a lot more space for it sorry let's get into the base yeah yeah, the same base for the other three of these. Uh, I might buy some paint, maybe try to do like a volleyball scene out of them, I don't know. Oh my god, he has his hands in his pants. That's hilarious! His paint job is a lot cleaner. Oh, I love it. See all the muscle tones in his calves. Right there, Banapresto again on his booty. Oh, wrong side, bada ding. Bada boom, bada bing. Oh, 
Wow, these guys' neck joints were a lot harder to get in. Ooh. I love Tanaka's pose. Like, he's giving you that, like, what are you talking about? Kind of look. I love it. Oh my god, Tanaka totally gets a 10 out of 10. I love that. The sculpt of him with his hands in his pants. His face. Oh. I like all the shading. There's a lot of orange for the shading of these guys. I really like that. Oh, so for the second years, you get a 9 out of 10 and a 10 out of 10, just like the first years. Um, again, these guys are really nice figures. I really say that you guys should try to get these. If you're a huge Haiku fan, you gotta get these. They're super clean, really nice. And if you hunt for a while, you can get some good prices on them. Like, for instance, these guys I paid 20 bucks each. And I think that's a really good price for these type of figures. Yeah, 20 bucks is perfect price for that. Um, but like with my Sukiyama and um, Yamaguchi, I got them for $30 free shipping for both of them. So yeah, try your hardest, keep looking. Don't just go for the first one you see, that's $60. But yeah, keep digging, keep hunting, because these guys are perfect. I love them. Um, so yeah, you get a 9 out of 10, and Tonika gets a 10 out of 10, you guys. That's going to be it for this episode of Boyish Figure. Hope you guys are liking these. Um, yeah. Bye!